A blessed day to us all. May the Lord's presence and power be your portion, strengthening your faith and confidence in Him, to know Jesus more and love Him more in this time of fasting and praying. Today, we examine and reflect yet another claim, a title that Jesus referred to Himself as, that is found in the Gospel of John, chapter 11, verse 25, where Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. I am the resurrection and the life is the fifth of the seven I am statements of Jesus. Lazarus was dead. Earlier, Jesus had heard that his good friend was sick. But instead of going to visit Lazarus, Jesus stayed where he was for two more days. John 11 verse 6. He explained to his puzzled disciples that the sickness was for God's glory, that God's Son may be glorified through it. After Lazarus died, Jesus began a journey to Bethany, Lazarus's home. Significantly, when Jesus informed his disciples that Lazarus was dead, he simply said his friend was asleep, but I am going there to wake him up. John 11 verse 11. Outside Bethany, Lazarus' sister Martha went out to meet Jesus. If you had been here, she said, my brother would not have died. Such was her faith in Jesus' power to heal. Jesus replied by assuring Martha that her brother would rise again. Martha responded again in faith, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. At this point, Jesus makes his fifth I am statement in John's Gospel. I am the resurrection and the life. And he follows it with a call to faith. He who believes in me will live, even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. When Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life, he was claiming to be the source of both. There is no resurrection apart from Christ, and there is no eternal life apart from Christ. Beyond that, Jesus was also making a statement concerning his divine nature. He does more than give life. He is life himself, and therefore death has no ultimate power over him. Jesus confers the spiritual life on those who believe in him so that they share his triumph over death. 1 John chapter 5 verse 11 to 12. Believers in Jesus Christ will experience resurrection because having the life of Jesus gives it is impossible for death to defeat them. The grieving Martha wished that Jesus had arrived earlier so he could have healed her brother. And when Jesus spoke of resurrection, Martha assumed he was speaking of the resurrection at the last day. In both statements, Martha reveals that she considered time an insurmountable obstacle. In effect, Martha was saying, it's too late to help Lazarus. The time is past. So now we must wait, allow more time until that future day of resurrection. Jesus shows neither death nor time is an obstacle to him. Outside the tomb, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. The dead man came out. John 11 verse 43. It's one thing to claim to be the resurrection and the life, but Jesus proved it by raising Lazarus, who was four days dead, back to life. Truly, with Christ, death is but sleep. Death has no dominion over him, who is life itself, nor does death have dominion over those who are in him. Because he lives, we live. Because he is life, we have life eternally. Jesus' statement that he is the resurrection and the life provides a godly perspective on spiritual, several spiritual matters. Martha believed that the resurrection is an event. Jesus showed her and us that the resurrection is not an event but a person, Jesus Christ.
Martha's knowledge of eternal life was an abstract idea. Jesus proved that knowledge of eternal life is a personal relationship with him by believing in him. Martha thought victory over death was a future expectation. Jesus corrects her showing that victory is a present reality. After presenting himself as the resurrection and the life, Jesus asks Martha an all important question, do you believe this? John 11:26. May Martha's answer be ours as well. Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who was to come into the world. John 11, verse 27. May you experience his abundant eternal life and the victory, not just in the future, but in our present reality. God bless you.